much of a deficit is too much? Well, to start off, let's talk about this meta-analysis, and what they found was that over a 500-calorie deficit led to atrophy, even with strength training. Like, I will say, it wasn't, like, the best training program. Like, they were doing full body, but it was two to four times a week, and, you know, you'd want to be on a three times frequency or every other day if you're in a deficit to minimize the amount of time that you are in a state of atrophy. So if you're doing three times a week frequency, which you should be if you're in a deficit, then you're probably going to find that you can go, you know, maybe a couple hundred calories extra without seeing atrophy. Now, important thing is that this will definitely vary between individuals. Like, what matters is that you do not want your body to detect the aggressive deficit as a stressor. For some people, it might be less calories. For some people, it might be more calories. Like, if you have a greater amount of stress going on in your life, well, it's going to take less calories for that deficit to become a stressor. Like, general adaptation syndrome applies. So, if you have a lot of stressors happening in your life, well, it's going to add up and it's going to take less for that deficit to become a stressor. So, there's not really an answer that I can just give to everybody like you have to experiment with it yourself if you do a deficit and you start feeling horrible well it's a good chance that it's too much if you want to know if you're building muscle in a deficit well you just see if you're consistently progressively overloading on an exercise and not like an ex like a new exercise like an exercise that you've been consistently doing for a while if you are then it's a good sign that you're still able to build muscle in that deficit